Hello everyone and good day to you or good evening depending on when you are seeing this. This is a very excited and euphoric Roger with Grubus Games Unlimited and it is so nice to be with you again for this pretty beefy and awesome Dungeon Crusade update. There's so much to talk about guys and um, I just hope you're doing good. You know, I love hanging out with you, chatting with you in the comment section. I hope you're doing good above all. And again, thank you for your time. So listen, I'm going to try to make this quick. I always try to, but I get excited because I like talking to you about the game and there's just so much awesome stuff going on. So thank you for your time. Okay, let's get on with this. There's so much to talk about. I have been so busy with the game and there's all this different stuff been happening. So here's our little splash screen I put together. I think that looks pretty all right awesome. And go over to this screen right here. I always just put this up as like the main image. But what are we going to be talking about is the production copies of the game are done and on the way. Yes. Let me stop myself right there. Do you know I've had an update ready for like I've had four of them within like the last week and a half and I can't I kept canceling them because different things were happening, you know, like new updates were coming out. So I wanted to give you everything, you know, to the minute of what's going on because you know it's important I keep you guys in the loop for everything. So this is up to date information. Okay, so yeah, the production copies of the game are done. And on the way, you may have seen those. I've been posting them everywhere. Um, our incredible manufacturer, um, our production manager, um, Kyra, has been doing an incredible job. And I have a message from her from a few days ago that said um, last Thursday that they were going to be finishing it up and shipping them out to us. So um, I sent another message to see what's going on. So you can expect an unboxing of this but we'll keep we'll talk about that when we get to that point um the dungeon dive the ultimate showdown we're going to chat about that that's from a little while back that dj daniel did on the dungeon dive the amazing and brilliant rob oren man from rob's tabletop world we're doing a playthrough of the game we'll get to that the pledge manager is still open we're going to talk about that the monthly dungeon crusade kickstarter update will be forthcoming i want to chat with you about that and this kind of goes with this up here, a deluxe unboxing video of the production copies of the game. Okay, without further ado, let's move on to the pictures of the production copies of the game. You've probably seen these, right? On I posted it in the community section. I posted these everywhere because um, I'm, I'm excited for you guys. And I'm going to tell you straight from the heart, it was around 7.30 in the morning, like last week when I got these photos from um, Kyra over at Wingo Games and instantly I just felt a sense of like euphoria and excitement but for you guys because I know you've waited for this and I was excited to get these you know somewhere so you could see them um, everything's just looking awesome and we, again we thank the manufacturer for everything they've been doing they look fantastic um, two editions of the game now course the big slayer of the realm edition this is the base game the avalon adventure board game um and all the house of chance games all of the big add-ons all in one gigantic box so if you're looking for the all-in this is it right here um the next one is the crusader of the realm still a very beefy edition this is the base copy of the game and you get the avalon adventure board game so maybe you just want to get this and a few add-ons that that's kind of the addition for you but it's nice to see them kind of in the real real world um so to speak so these are done and she said they are going to be shipping them out um we'll talk about more about the kickstarter update basically i would really like to have these copies you know open them up and put that in the monthly kickstarter um dungeon crusade update i do because i think a lot of people would love to see that in the update i would love to show that so we're going to play it by ear if they're not going to get here till after um you know the end of the month i'll just do an update for everything we have but then immediately do another up kickstarter update for the unboxing and pictures and all of that stuff. Okay, so we have that to look forward to. I'm I'm looking forward to it just, you know, to hang out with you guys and show you everything. 
And again, I just want to thank you personally for all your love and support, your patience and understanding to get to this point. Seriously, thank you so much. I wanted to throw this into the update, and I don't have pictures of this yet because um, this is going to be our next Kickstarter project, and this was another cool thing I've been chatting with people about. There are so many people that asked for a bigger box, and we're just going to leave the thing here on the Slayer of the Realm box. There are so many people that want a huge Dungeon Crusade box for all of their stuff with, with, an, with an insert. So I've been saying, and I just thought I'd put it into the update, our next Kickstarter project is going to be two things in one. It is going to be a bigger box option, but I have an awesome graphic design I thought of for, it's going to be this box basically. It's, you know, six inches um, in depth and about, what is it, 12 and a half, 12 inches, 12 and a half inches left and right, up and down. But I have a great graphic design for this bigger box option. Um, so the next Kickstarter um, project that I would like to do is that, but plastic miniatures. I think it would be, well, wait, before I even go on to that, I, I explain to people, there's just so much going on with the game and the reprint. Truly, guys, it's, it's too much to handle right now with designing, doing the graphic design of a bigger box and everything else I have going on. Of course, with the game and doing updates and doing videos and I have a family and kids and it's a lot. I still go on three to four hours sleep. So I think it'll be nice to introduce this bigger box option with an insert where we could really design something very nice for you. A, a really cool graphic design I think you're going to love, but also plastic exclusive retro inspired miniatures. Now I'm going to show you something and I want to do a disclaimer. I should actually edit these pictures. These are not for Dungeon Crusade as of now. Yes, that right there is awesome. Those right there are awesome. Let me explain something. I think you know I love retro inspired things. So for years we've talked about doing exclusive plastic miniatures, but for me, retro inspired ones. You know, I wanted to really adhere to the Dungeon Crusade theme of being a retro dungeon crawl game. So, some years back, I found out about this guy named Boris. This is Boris's work right here. I'm not sure what game this is from, but guys, straight from the heart, when I saw these miniatures, I'm like, that's, that's Dungeon Crusade. I mean, his work really inspired me to just create more content just by this, this, this skeletal warrior priest, which you know, skeleton warriors are my favorite. Um, fantasy monster. This is just incredible. I mean, the detail that Boris does. This is honestly what I picture for Dungeon Crusade. Exactly something like this. So my point is, the next Kickstarter update. Of course, we have to, you know, chat with Boris. You know, we're going to schmooze with him, tell him about Dungeon Crusade, and yes, I will beg him to please work with us on creating some exclusive plastic miniatures for the game. I think I could just picture these, you know, in the dungeon and just, can you imagine someone painting these? Oh, it would just be so awesome. So the next Kickstarter project that I would like to work on is the bigger box option with an insert and exclusive plastic miniatures. So that way, you know, someone could come in and just get the bigger box option. Okay, maybe they don't want the miniatures. However, if they do want the miniatures, we could just have the insert and pack them with the bigger box option. See how that works? I thought that worked really nicely together. So again, I just want to say, remember, these are not for Dungeon Crusade right now. I don't want someone sharing this. Oh my God, you see the Dungeon Crusade miniatures. These are not for Dungeon Crusade. But yes, I want this kind of style. Boris's incredible creativity and imagination in a design for Dungeon Crusade, something similar, okay? So there we go, the next Kickstarter project, bigger box option, custom graphic design, insert for all your stuff, and retro-inspired plastic miniatures. Okay, let's move on to the next thing on our list. Okay, we're gonna shoot back over here. Next up, the Dungeon Dive Ultimate Showdown that Daniel did, so I have a little panel for that. And, you know, but 
really Rob Oren and Daniel run some of the best channels on YouTube for all of this stuff. And there's there's so many other people too. But, you know, to me, they're like, just like some of the biggest channels that do this stuff. Well, a little while back, and I know I posted this, Daniel did this ultimate showdown with Dungeon Crusade, League of Dungeoneers, and Dungeon Universalis. And to me, I, I said this to her, I don't think it's it was a showdown. It was very well, it, the presentation was Daniel. It was an outstanding presentation. And it was just going over 12 different points of the game, of each of these games, what they have in common, you know, what does what differently. I thought of it like a celebration of these games. And I want to say I was just quite taken back that he would include Dungeon Crusade with that. And I, I just thank you, Daniel. I'm, I'm very grateful to you. So if you get a chance, go over. I have a link for all this. Go check out what Daniel had to say. Um, not only about Dungeon Crusade, but these other epic and awesome games, League of Dungeoneers, which I know everyone's talking about, and the very massive, <coughs> excuse me, still got my cough a little bit, Dungeon Universalis. So go take a look at the, what Daniel has to say, and it was really a nice presentation. And, you know, just thank you again, Daniel. Um, I would love to play these other two games. I know Michael and me are swapping games. Real quick, I actually talked to Michael this morning. This is Saturday, March 25th, and he is sending me a copy of League of Dungeoneers. I'm going to do an unboxing of this on the Dungeon Crusade YouTube channel, on the face, on my Facebook. Um, I'm dying to play this game. And so, Michael, thank you. And, of course, I'll be giving you a Slayer of the Realm edition to say thank you for your game. And it's all good. So, you have that to look forward to. We're going to unbox League of Dungeoneers and go over everything in detail. And I want to play Dungeon Universalis. That game is massive. I'm going to need someone's help. But I would love to play this. I think his name is Oscar, right? Oscar is the designer. He did a, just another a fabulous job on that game. It is huge. Dungeon Crusade is huge, but Dungeon Universalis is massive. So kudos to both of those designers. Okay? So check out this. The link's in the description. And let's move on to the next thing on our list. Okay, and the next thing, and I, boy, do I have a lot to say about this. Rob Oren from Rob's Tabletop World is doing a playthrough, or we are going to do a playthrough. I'll be joining him live for a playthrough of the Avalon Adventure board game and Dungeon Crusade. Okay, first of all, um, let me say this. I don't want to speak Rob's business, but he has been very open about it. Rob has had some health concerns, and... Um, I'm an optimistic. I said, Rob, you're going to beat this. We have many more dungeons to clear. Um, but, you know, Rob is in our prayers. And I hope everything is okay for him. I'm sure it will be. And he's just a great guy. He does so much for so many people in our game community. And I will always be grateful to him. He was really one of the ones who broke Dungeon Crusade way, way, way back. And so I always, you know, I have a very special place in my heart for Rob. I think all of us do. And he's just a great guy. So, Rob, you are an elite level 60 barbarian hero to all of us. You're going to beat this. We're going to go on. And that's all there is to it. So, going on to this. Um, I've been talking to Rob a lot. We are doing a, a playthrough of the Avalon Adventure Board game. And then Dungeon Crusade. But what I wanted to say is... Um, this there's a bunch of links in the description so you can check this out he did an unboxing of the crusader of the realm edition now this was the previous edition almost what's you know the for the new one but you know there's the up some updated content and new stuff but he did an unboxing and he chatted about dungeon crusade so there's some links for you in the description again thank you rob for doing this we are all grateful to you and it's going to be a really fun time. But let me tell you what happened. That the Avalon Adventure board game, he had to do something for this medical procedure he's going through. So we had to postpone it. And I should have had a date. I'm sorry. I'll have it in the, in the description. The, the Avalon Adventure board game, and I put some pictures here we could take a look at, will be happening this coming Monday, March 27th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
okay march 27th this coming monday 6 p.m eastern standard time but what's going to happen is this it, this is really going to be a huge play series that i've been wanting to do and with the help of rob we're going to do it we are going to um starting on the 27th me and rob are going to be hanging out with you guys of course and i want to show you recommend how to set up the avalon adventure board game so it's just going to be kind of you know hanging loose chatting with everyone um he's going to have multiple cameras on and i want to show you personally um how to set this game up and there's a, just a few tips and you know i just want to hang out with everyone so this monday on the 27th that's what you can expect and then on tuesday the 28th same time 6 p.m eastern standard time we are going to play the Avalon Adventure Board game. And we'll just go through a few pictures here. And <clears throat> this game gave me a chance to really do so much world building and create lore, like years of it, to really draw people <clears throat> into the whole experience. And, you know, I've never said this before, but really the inspiration of this game, and I'm going to be saying a lot about this, if you know Dungeon Quest from the 80s that's one of my favorite game favorite board games well I also love the fighting fantasy books you know from Steve Jackson and Ian Livingston those really were you know to me what inspired me to create this but to do a lot of things different this is a choose your own adventure but you'll never see the same game twice even if you take the same path through Avalon you're always gonna have a different experience so that's what I wanted to let people know about this. If you go into this game with that thinking, you know, the game kind of opens up, so to speak. And actually, there's a lot of, well, it's kind of some strategy about plotting your court through, course through Avalon. That's not just go anywhere. There's some thought that has to go into it. But we're going to get into it more in the playthrough, okay? But i would show you some more pictures here. Here's the treasure chests. <clears throat> that your heroes can find in Avalon. There's bronze, silver, and gold. As they go up, better loot inside. And it's always randomized um, from game to game. And here's the battle board with the battle. So we're going to have a lot of fun with this, um, with the playthrough with Rob. Okay, so please join us um, this Monday, March 27th, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as we do the setup for the Avalon Adventure board game. And then we go... Um, the next day on the 28th we're going to go right into playing the Avalon Adventure Board game and I think you're going to like the presentation that me and Rob have for you. Okay? Okay, let's move on to the next thing is Pledge Manager is still open. And I wanted to check that. I was going to say something else I thought. Hmm. I thought there was something else, but check for the links in the description. You can see what Rob has presented um, thus far. So let's go over the next thing. Pledge Manager is still open. Yes, the Pledge Manager is open, and the reason we left it open is we had to wait for the production copies of the game. So if you're looking to pre-order the game or some of the add-ons or the Crusader Upgrade Pack, now is the time to do that. Because I've said, now that we have these production copies, you know, we're going to do the, the unboxing will probably come after this. We're going to review everything, and then mass production begins. The pledge manager will be shut down. It won't. You won't be able to pre-order anything anymore. You'll have to wait for us to get stuff in. We will have a good stock of the Crusader upgrade pack and some additions of the game. But guys, you know how this stuff goes. It could just just catch like catch on like wildfire and just sell out. That's what happened actually to the add-ons last time. They were sold out in two weeks. So if you're considering it, of course, watch some videos. I always want people to make a comfortable, you know, decision for the game. Um, but, you know, with everything we worked on with the revised rule book, all the, you know, tweaks and balances, I, you're really in for a very perfected and honed experience um, with the game. So Pledge Manager will be open. But like I said, after we review these production copies, um, we're going to give them the green light to start mass production. Pledge Manager will be closing down. We'll give a few, you know, um, fair warnings before it does, but it'll be happening happening very quickly once we receive those production copies of the game. The link for the pledge manager is in the description, okay? And so there's that. And then lastly, well, actually I talked about a del deluxe unboxing, but the monthly Kickstarter update. Let's, so that, <clears throat> excuse me, this 
is going to be the March one. I always do one every month. And like I said, I want to get these production copies of the game and then do the monthly update. There's so much to put in this update. It is going to be massive. So we, I would love to have these, you know, unboxing where you can see it right in this update for everyone. But again, it depends on how quick it ships out. Um, if it's not going to be here till like April 1st or April 2nd, well then I'll just roll out the update with everything like we're talking about here and what's going on. So you can expect that by the end of the month. Hopefully we get these games very soon next week and I could put the update together and um, we'll get that out for you. And it'll be a great update to show off the production copies of the game. I mean, we could show the pictures, you know, from the manufacturer, but it'd be great to have, you know, them right here so you could see it. So that's what I wanted to say about the Kickstarter update. It is on the way. Lastly, a deluxe unboxing video of the production copies of the game. Yes, I will be doing a deluxe unboxing. We'll go over everything. But I think that's going to be after we review the copies. I have people who are going to assist me. And I think that it will just be better. You know, we get that done so we give them the green light on mass production. Then we'll do an unboxing um, for you and everything. Just very excited for it. And guys, with that, I think that's about it. Oh, and you know what? I did want to say something. Shipping. I've been asked this. When will the game ship out? Well, it's going to be shipping out the next few months. And all the information I can give you, it's going to take anywhere from, what did they say, 21 days to 35 days to print everything. Crusader Upgrade Pack is not going to take that long. So that's going to get done very quickly. We can expect to see the game showing up late April, but more likely into May and June. So that is, you know, once we work with our fulfillment partner and our shipping manager, we will have a concrete date. But expect this game fairly quickly, okay? <clears throat> As I cough, I'm, I'm almost over my cough, guys. Again, it was great hanging out with you. Um, thank you so much for your love and support, and I will be seeing you in the next video. Have a great day, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.